Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. I do want to apologize for the uh, video quality. Not sure how it's going to come out. I'm actually doing these videos uh, from my laptop as it has been extremely difficult to get these uploads. For some reason, one thing or another is just it's been crazy. It's probably three in the morning now. I just recently finished doing spell work. I've been trying to balance everything, um, you know, personal readings throughout the day and cleansings and healing and uh, personal readings throughout the day and then spell work at night. It's just been really crazy. But I promised myself to actually put this video out for you guys in the beginning of the month. So this is me. Um, I know it's May the 2nd now, but um, I definitely, you know, made it an intention to actually get these videos out for the messages for all of you guys for the month of May. So anyways, let's get into your reading. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. I've already shuffled the deck and cut it for time purposes. So let's just jump right into your messages. Okay. So in reference with the element of air communication, how you're going to be communicating for the month of May 2018, you have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is definitely a wish fulfillment card, but in regards to how you will be communicating with other people throughout the month of May, the Nine of Cups is a lot of celebratory type of energy. Uh, this could represent being very extremely social, uh, going to family gatherings, um, social outings, celebrations, that, tor that sort of deal. Um, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, happiness and, um, again, like I said, um, feeling the support system that you have, uh, whether it's with loved ones in your relationship or whether it's with families as well. In regards to your finances with the element of earth, you have the temperance card. This is your card, Sagittarius. So with temperance and the Knight of cups, there is almost a feeling of wanting to accomplish something or find some type of stability. And the temperance is definitely talking about being patient, but also balancing your energies. Um, so what I mean by this is... I am getting the message very strongly, so I'm not sure if this is you, Sagittarius, that you may be dealing with, uh, perhaps if you're in a relationship and you're currently dealing with a partner that actually drinks a lot, as an example, um, or overindulges, um, try the best you can to guide them, or if this is you yourself that is overdoing certain things, try the best you can to find the balance in that and the medium uh in regards to finances try the best you can not to overspend don't be you know um extremely crazy when it comes to your finances uh find the balance again like i said i am getting a very strong message in regards to drinking or alcoholism that type of thing because the nine of cups is here so this is definitely talking to me about for the month of may it's going to be very necessary for you to find balance or to guide someone towards balance um in regards to health wise okay so for, um Next, we're going to go into the fire energy. This is the element of fire, which is a challenge for the month of May. Yeah. Okay. So, I have the three of cups here. And the three of cups um, as a challenge is definitely talking about not overdoing the social, the social thing. So, I feel that for a lot of you guys, drinking, heavy drinking may have a lot to do with it. Or it could be that you're with a partner that is an alcoholic or drinks a lot. Um, as a challenge, the Three of Cups is not overdoing. So um, yeah, you. I, I see a lot of water in this. So for those of you guys that have health issues, uh, for those Sagittarians out there that have health issues and you like to drink once in a while, uh, be careful with that, okay? Uh, because you may have complications. Uh, try the best you can not to overindulge or overdo, whether it's drinking or whether it's even, you know, pills, drinking pills, that type of thing. Don't drink pills and alcohol. Don't mix that. Um, be very careful with that because I definitely do see a lot of water in these cards. And Temperance is definitely talking about finding the balance. And if you don't find the balance, universe is going to put you in a position where you're going to have to find um, 
restrictions. You know, you are being restricted um, because temperance is all about if something is off, whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, uh, this could be even you guys becoming very, very heavy on depression or anxiety. Um, if you don't find a medium to that, which the medium would be like meditation to surrender and to release all of those excess energies that are negative, um, you may start to experience in the negative sense manifestations in your body, meaning having complications with blood, um, having complications with, um, you know, diabetes, um, anything that has to do with overindulgence. So again, be very mindful about that, Sagittarius. It is very important, very necessary for you guys to find the medium balance to everything um, and not overdoing and not overdoing it because it's attached to emotions. So it could be, as an example, depression because it's a t a tied to anxiety, it's tied to sadness, um, alcoholism because it's attached to, again, sadness and depression or anything in, the, in that type of sense. Um, so try the best you can to be very mindful about that. Temperance is highly necessary. Balance is highly necessary in the present for the month of May. In regards to water and your emotions, you have the Magician card. So the Magician is definitely talking about, um, for some of you guys, you might be dealing with an Aries um, or another fire type of energy, which would be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius like yourself. Um, but I feel that this is another person or the person that you may be dealing with. And the Magician card is definitely manifestation or having all the tools to manifest that which you want. Um, again, like I said... Know and understand that ev there's nothing wrong. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with drinking every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with, you know, I don't know. I'm no one to judge. Whatever you're into, there's nothing wrong with doing it. There's a problem when we overdo it. Um, and the magician is here to tell you that for the month of May, you have all of the tools, all of the power to manifest and bring to your life healing. If this is something that you're on, you know, on a journey um, in regards to any type of disease that you may be dealing with or even relatives or family members that have or are going through this. Um, know and understand that you have all the tools within yourself to heal or do self-healing as well. Uh, but it is necessary to be able to project your energy. Um, so as an example, if you drink out of boredom, um, try the best you can to keep yourself busy. Uh, get involved with passions or things that you like to do, whether it's painting, whether it's walking, whatever it may be. Um, and the same thing goes, you know, if you are currently dealing with health issues, know and understand that. I want to say the second week of May. Uh, there's going to be a lot of possibilities. It's almost like you're going to be re-energized and there's going to be a lot of energy flowing through you that you can use that in a positive way to try to do self-healing. Um, so finally, your message for spirit or the spirit message uh, for you, spirit's message for you. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied here. Is the nine of swords. So the month of May 2018 for you Sagittarians out there, the message is very clear based on the cards that were pulled out. There's definitely needing for self-healing. Uh, whether this is you detaching yourself from a relationship or a recent relationship that's no longer existent or that you're no longer in. And there is a lot of depression and anxiety in regards to that. You're going through a healing phase. Try the best you can to be as the magician in the tarot. Know and understand that where the mind goes, energy flows. And the more you sit there in anxiety and overthink and overthink and overthink, you're bringing towards you nothing but negative energy. And there is a need for healing. So give yourself that time. Do not frustrate. Do not be hard on yourself. Do not be harsh on yourself. Uh, thinking, why can't I get over this? Or when are all these obstacles going to you know, finally dissipate or be gone basically spirit's advice is as the nine of swords here as you can see um this this represents usually a lot of anxiety and having trouble sleeping or a lot of worries and spirit is telling you that you are one step from the ten of swords and the ten of swords is a representation of an ending so the struggles 
um, health issues, anything that has to do with that, you're like at the cusp of the ending of those challenges and the ending of those difficulties and being able to transform yourself to be able to get to the ace of swords, which is strength, which is healing, um, which is having the powerful mind and using your mind in a positive way to be able to attract and bring towards you that which is desired with the magician card here. Um, so again, I highly encourage you guys to be very, very mindful about um, overindulging for the month of May 2018. And if you are currently dealing or going through difficulties health-wise, know and understand that healing is on the horizon. Uh, and you will definitely be st or start to experience the healing um, manifestations throughout the month of May 2018. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.